Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to do another of the Be Thankful For challenge prompts. I'm doing these all month long on my social media and on Sundays here on YouTube. And today's prompt is nature, and I'm going to my Canvas Bible because I found something kind of cool that you might be interested in trying. If you have a piece of art, you can do this way. On one side of this page that has the verse on it that I wanted to do, it has a bunch of art on the back, all these flowers. And I can see through them through the back side of this. And I'm going to color them on this side, and I'm not going to use lines for them. I'm using watercolor pencils. This happens to be the Albrecht Durer line of pencils. But I wanted to mention a little something about watercolor pencils. I've had a few questions about them recently. One of which is when you buy watercolor pencils, make sure they are watercolor, aqua, something or other, that there's water in the name. It says they're water soluble. There's a lot of companies you'll hear about, and, you, and you'll hear somebody say, I use the watercolor pencils from, for example, Prismacolor or from company X. And you want to make sure that you're getting the right line of pencils. A lot of these companies make both water soluble and non water soluble pencils, and they both act differently. You can certainly use watercolor pencils as just regular pencils if you desire, and just not use water with them. But that would be kind of silly because they're really cool when you use them with water. So make sure you have the right pencils and you can actually create a piece of art like this one without any lines around the image. You can also use them with lines, but it's really fun to make a beautiful pattern like this that I'm going to do all over this whole page by looking through the back of this piece of paper to the print on the other side. You may not have one of these. If you don't have this Bible, you may not have something that works with the art that's on the opposite page. However, if you're tracing a piece of art, a lot of times we just immediately go for a pen and we get out something where we're going to trace the lines onto our page. But look at how beautiful it can be to just put a super soft type of coloring on it. And in uh, crafting, we kind of call it no line art. I'm not really sure if there's a better name for it other than just art. <laughs> but it's just a different style and a different look for a piece of art that you could put in your Bible. Now, this particular Bible is the Message Translation, and it's not a super well-known translation, especially to those of us who do much Bible study, because it's not a very direct translation. But back in the day, when I was younger and I was trying really hard to read and understand Scripture, and I wasn't getting it, things weren't sinking into my brain, I thought, maybe I'd try a different translation and somebody turned me on to the message. It's a very poetic type of translation and it's put into, I guess, more modern language, you might say. And since a lot of people don't know about this translation, I thought I would read a little bit of Genesis 1 for you while I finish this coloring because it's kind of relaxing to just watch the coloring fly by on the screen. So let's go into Genesis chapter 1 in the message. First this, God created the heavens and earth, all you see, all you don't see. Earth was a soup of nothingness, a bottomless emptiness, an inky blackness. God's spirit brooded like a bird above the watery abyss. God spoke light and light appeared. God saw that light was good and separated light from dark. God named the light day he named the dark night. It was evening. It was morning. Day one. God spoke, sky in the middle of the waters, separate water from water. God made sky. He separated the water under sky from the water above sky. And there it was. He named the sky heavens. It was evening. It was morning. Day two. God spoke, separate, water beneath heaven, gather into one place, land, appear. And there it was. God named the land earth. He named the pooled water ocean. God saw that it was good. God spoke, earth, green up, grow all varieties of seed-bearing plants, every sort of fruit-bearing tree. And there it was. 
earth produced green seed bearing plants, all varieties, and fruit bearing trees of all sorts. God saw that it was good. It was evening, it was morning, day three. God spoke, lights come out, shine in heaven's sky, separate day from night, mark seasons and days and years, light in heaven's sky to give light to earth. And there it was. God made two big lights, the larger to take charge of day, the smaller to be in charge of night. And he made the stars. God placed them in the heavenly sky to light up earth and oversee day and night to separate light and dark. God saw that it was good. It was evening. It was morning. Day four. God spoke, swarm ocean with fish and all sea life. Birds fly through the sky over earth. God created the huge whales, all the swarm of life in the waters, and every kind and species of flying birds. God saw that it was good. God blessed them. Prosper, reproduce, fill ocean. Birds reproduce on earth. It was evening. It was morning. Day five. God spoke, earth generate life, every sort and kind, cattle and reptiles and wild animals, all kinds. And there it was, wild animals of every kind, cattle of all kinds, every sort of reptile and bug. God saw that it was good. God spoke, let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves on the face of earth. God created human beings. He created them godlike, reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female. God blessed them. Prosper, reproduce, fill earth, take charge. Be responsible for fish in the sea and birds in the air, for every living thing that moves on the face of earth. Then God said, I've given you every sort of seed-bearing plant on earth and every kind of fruit-bearing tree, given them to you for food, to all the animals and all birds, everything that moves and breathes. I give whatever grows out of the ground for food. And there it was. God looked over everything he had made. It was so good, so very good. It was evening. It was morning. Day six. Heaven and earth were finished, down to the last detail. By the seventh day, God had finished his work. On the seventh day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day. He made it a holy day, because on that day he rested from his work. All the creating God had done. This is the story of how it all started, of heaven and earth, when they were created. So that gives you a taste of what the message translation is like. If you're interested in that one, you can find it online as well as uh, buy a Bible like this one that has the message in it. So here's the front side of that piece of paper and the back side, which is now colored, and you really can't tell that there's anything on the other side. It's quite a beautiful way to do a Bible journaling page. And I hope that this might have helped you if you were struggling with your watercolor pencils, trying to figure out how to work with them. Just do some coloring and then go over it with a brush and you'll be just fine. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. I hope you'll be joining in on the thankful challenge on Instagram or Facebook, anywhere you'd like. People are sharing in our Facebook group as well. So you can join that and see what other people are doing. And I will see you guys again next week. God bless you.